All right, welcome back. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for joining today's video. Uh, go ahead and uh, slap a like or click subscribe so you can get more content moving forward. Uh, Jordy's unboxing videos. Um, today, uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up the PlayStation 5 DualSense wireless controller. Uh, this is the uh, totally redesigned controller made for the PlayStation 5 and uh, the first uh, to uh, type of controller to have a haptic feedback and haptic touch. So we're really excited about that. Um, all of these boxes came factory sealed from PlayStation. So I went ahead and cut that ahead of time. And uh, yeah, let's see what's inside. Open the box up here. Um, the, the material, I guess I haven't had a new PlayStation accessory that came in a box like this in a long time, uh, but it's, the material's kind of cheap. The uh, cardboard's kind of thin, but um, you know, I'm not gonna keep the box, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's a little pull tab here. Let's pull this out. All right, within that outer casing is this, uh, you know, uh, other cardboard box. I'm gonna open this one up. And um, we've got the DualSense 5 wrapped in some kind of, uh, kind of plasticky uh, protective wrap. Now, before I show you the controller, I'm gonna remind you of the size of the DualShock 2, or maybe this is the DualShock 4, I'm losing track. This is the, the wireless DualShock controller that has been made popular by the PlayStation 4 console. This one came with my PlayStation Pro. Um, okay, cool, well, let's go ahead and pull this out of the bag and take a closer look at it. Uh, First impression, I really like the weight. It's really comfortable. Uh, it's got a uh, kind of um, textured um, uh, feel on the back here, whereas it's kind of smooth on top, so I can really get a good grip on it. Uh, when I hold it next to the uh, DualShock controller, you can see they're pretty much the same size. The DualSense is a little bit bigger. Uh, and I honestly, while I don't love white tech, as I mentioned in my headset unboxing video, this looks pretty cool. You've got the buttons that are a clear plastic, uh, kind of uh, with, with the, the button shape kind of raised inside of the clear plastic. And, um, and these R buttons, these trigger buttons feel really good. Um, fits my hand well. Um, I can feel on the, uh, this large button here that there's multiple points of touch. It's not an all or nothing. Uh, so, so maybe we'll see different uses of, of that button. And the PlayStation button is now the shape of a PlayStation icon and not just a circle anymore. So that's that's new. I'll get that close to the camera and check that out. Uh, looks like it has a built-in mic, and uh, the ports are very similar to the, uh, the DualShock. Um, it no longer says share and options. We just have uh, icon, or let's see, three lines um, that are uh, horizontal on the right side. I assume that is um, options. And then we have three lines uh, pointing out for share. I don't know if we can see that. There's share and there is uh, options. Um, I'm excited. Uh, this controller feels really good. Uh, it feels like the PlayStation controller with some much needed uh, enhancements. I'm loving this textured feel on the back. So, hey, once again, thanks for watching and uh, tune in next time. Bye.